Hey everybody, how you doing? And are you ready for another Halloween DIY? What I'm going to do, um, I want to make some uh, potion bottles. So I took a wine bottle and a soy sauce from Trader Joe's. This will be perfect. And I'm going to take some black. This is licorice and this is just black with a little bit of Mod Podge because the Mod Podge has the glue. I'm hoping that will adhere to this a little bit. I might, um, no, I'm not going to. What I was going to do is I was thinking about taking some sandpaper and just roughing this up a little bit. But I've painted jars and things of this nature before and I didn't do that. So I will be back as soon as I get the label off and we're going to paint these and then we'll put the labels on. Okay. I decided what I'm going to do because I don't want to go through um, sanding it and having to paint this over and over again. I'm going to take some black gesso because that will give it a tooth. You know what I mean? To uh, have the paint adhere a little bit easier. So I have some wax paper out. And I'm just going to take my sponge brush. I'm going to start painting. I've got my other bottle soaking to get the label off. This doesn't take but a few minutes. Before you know it, you'll have some potion bottles. I like these. And like I say, the gesso has enough grit to wear one coat of regular black will do the trick. So, I'm, okay, I just wanted to show you. Here's the soy sauce bottle cleaned. So I'm going to go ahead and get this painted now. And I'm not going to try to even get the lid off because I'll just paint that black as well. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll have two bottles and I might do a jar as well. And I'll be back. Okay. The bottles are dry from the just so, okay? So now I'm going to paint just regular paint on them. And since it's so warm today, that's why they're drying so fast, which I'm glad. So this is what I'm going to do with both of them. Just paint them and then I might go ahead and put Mod Podge over it because when I put the label, I'm going to put the label on uh, with Mod Podge, I think. Although the Mod Podge will make it shiny, so it's if I want shiny or if I want a matte look. And then that's just your own preference, you know. So I will be back when these are dry and we'll put the labels on. And are you ready to finish up our bottles, our elixirs, or whatever we're going to put on these to decorate this soy sauce and this wine bottle? Okay, I'm going to take some Mod Podge. I decided I don't want a mat. And I'll show you, because I kept going back and forth on what kind of labels. And I knew I had labels that I had bought probably, gosh, I don't know, three years ago. I did print some off, but I just wanted a little bit more color where I'm putting these because it's just going to go better. So I have these and, gosh, you know, I want to say I got them from Target Dollar Spot, but I'm not sure. I think it was, well, it was in a pack. I think it was Michael's. I don't know. I, I don't know. But let me tell you, 
If you have, and I've told you this before in other videos when it comes to papers, if you have a paper that you really, really like, or stickers, or whatever the case is, go ahead and print them on from your printer and print them on either cardstock or just plain printer paper or Kodak paper, you know, photo paper, whatever the case, because you know how a lot of times you'll have a certain um, paper or sticker and you think, oh, I hate to use it because I really, really like it. And what if I want to use it before and now I, you know, either maybe a store's been closed down because of all of our scrapbook stores around here no longer exist, which just makes me sick because they used to have the best unique papers. So what I've done is a lot of times I have gone ahead and printed them out so I do have a copy. So that's just a little side note. Okay. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use this particular one for these two. And I'm going to use Witch's Brew and... What's the other one? Oh, Broomstick uh, Fuel. Because this is going to go on my bar cart that I'm dedicating to the Sanderson sisters from Hocus Pocus. All right. So let's go ahead... And this is going to be so easy because these are already, they're stickers, so I don't even have to glue it on. But I, like I say, I don't want the mat. So I'm just taking my sponge brush and I'm going to cover the whole thing with just a really thin layer of Mod Podge. And then as soon as I'm done with that, I'll come back. Okay, so... Our bottles are almost dry, and I don't know, you can see the difference. You can see more of a sheen on it now. And I wanted to show you what I bought. And this was, happy Halloween glass decor. I think this was from Michael's. But I want you to look, it has that matte. Before we put the Mod Podge on there, it had more of this look. And here's just a label that they put on and a wine cork, which I didn't even take the cellophane off of there. But this was bought, okay? And I think, you know, maybe this was Joanne's. I don't know, but it doesn't have a price. But I know that I paid a few dollars for it. Well, I don't know. I don't know about you, but I'm not seeing a real difference in these bottles, okay? And this was free. Just saying. These I did get from uh, the Target dollar spot. And these um, have been, well, they're a different type of coloring, and there's a way to do that as well, where you can see through it. And again, these are just labels. These aren't, I mean, I'm not going to pick it off, but I could. It's just a label on a bottle. Dollar Tree has different kinds that already have colors. You could go get some of those and put a label. Go on to Google and Google some labels. If you can't find them to buy, you might have some already. But I'm just showing you the different the difference in these. And this is a soy bottle. I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you can take anything and not have to spend a penny really so I just wanted to show you that all right so let's and like you can see they have jute tied around theirs I think I'm going to use ribbon because I think it'll look cute with what I'm doing okay so let's go ahead move these over and let's take our Got to decide where if I want it on that. And you could put them on both sides. You could put different stickers. Yeah, I'm going to put this one on there. Okay, so now I'm just going to decide where I want it, which right about here looks good to me. Okay. And let's see. I 
Let's see here. What do you think? On this one, on the soy bottle, let's do here. Okay? All right, and now we'll put some string. I'm just going to tie that first. I meant to get my hot glue gun, but I can do that in a minute. It's no big deal. Okay, now I'm just going to wrap it and you know this would be cute too if you were going to a Halloween party and make one of these and put flowers in these for your hostess or for your kids teacher So what I'm going to do is I'll get my glue gun and decide how I want to do this one. Okay, so what I did is I just took the string and I came down below the lip of this instead of above it. I like the look better. Now you could take more of that string and you could go around the bottom if you wanted. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. On this one, I think I'm going to put some black ribbon. Like I said, you can leave these the way you want. You don't have to do anything to them. If you just want to leave it just a bottle with no kind of embellishment at all, go for it. If you want more of a, I don't know what you want to call it, but how they did here from the Target Dollar Spot, just put a little bit of jute or twine. This is twine. But that's the neat thing, guys. When you're doing it yourself, it's your call. If you like something a certain way, then you do it because it's yours. It's your creation, right? might put a little bit of that green around just to give it a little bit of color And just push it up if you don't want the bottle showing in between the wrappings. I've got to get one of those glue guns that have the real narrow uh, precision tip for stuff like this. Okay, and there's your other bottle. So, I hope that you will do this. You've got plenty of time to still do it. Like I said, a teacher's gift uh, for Halloween. You can put flowers in them or you could put suckers. You know what I mean? You could put suckers down in. You know, just make sure that you stuff it with a bag so the, st um, the suckers stick up. You could put flowers in it, tie a note on it just a thank you, whatever, going to a Halloween party, and it's something they can use year after year. Guys, I hope that you will try this. It was extremely easy.
cost effective. I'm actually nothing if you have a bottle and some paint and some stickers or use your printer and you can get just what you would get from a store only you made them your own and you made them your way. I wanted to show you as well I did these a few years back and this is a spaghetti jar and it was just painted just like the other ones and then I embellished with what I printed out and then just put flowers and spiders and what you can do then is you can either leave it like that or put a um, let's see if I have it you can make it a tea light which is what I did and you just get one a votive holder that will fit down in and then one of your little lights that you can get from the Dollar Tree or if it's at a time where they don't have any colored ones I have taken the regular white and then just painted them whatever color I needed but you have a pretty candle holder now you could put a real uh, tea light I wouldn't I would be afraid of it catching it on fire but you don't necessarily have to have that up there anyway but another cute idea for a um, hostess gift because now we're getting into the seasons for holiday parties and you could decorate it any way you want you could make it more uh, you know vibrant with oranges and different colors but this I did it two ways but this is one of them so I wanted to show you that too I mean it's a spaghetti jar come on or if you don't want to make it a candle holder if you're into the faux sweet treats I did a video on these and I'll link it below on my sweet treats I got this from the confectionery house anyone that's been with me knows that I get a lot of my molds from the confectionery house and then remember we made these cake pops and I made these this was with my lemon theme but I'm still gonna put them because I like the yellow but these I made last year for Halloween for Halloween so we'll put those in there and I have a bag so they don't fall all the way to the bottom because I want them to stick up okay and then your candy corn I made candy corn and I have a video on that too these I did not make these were from Michaels and they're just styrofoam styrofoam cut a I, I got these really I got these for the pattern a piece of styrofoam paint it and then put make your little um, sprinkles from your Sculpey you know I don't know I don't know about you I would love to get something like this as a gift I don't know about you but I would love to get something like this for a hostess gift or if I was a teacher or if you didn't want to put faux you could put real candy in this so that's just another thing I wanted to show you it's just another thing I wanted to show you that you can do so here you are here are things made from a soy bottle a wine bottle and a spaghetti jar you guys get to crafting these are so easy and they're so cute and they add a really cute piece of decor for your holiday either Halloween you don't need to stop with Halloween you can do fall bottles which you'll be seeing you can do Christmas bottles I mean you can do Christmas jars you can do whatever you want I'm just giving you the idea and you can run with it until we get together again. Remember, the world's a better place because you're in it. Don't ever, ever forget that. Talk to you soon. Bye.